Now the body is not mapped as well as we would like it to be. It's not really in chunks. Axillary is not all here because it does their deltoid and teres minor. But for simplicity's sake, let's just think lateral arm, axillary, medial arm, muscular cutaneous, then forearm. Uh, posteriorly, we have radial, but just so that I can show you, it's going to be lateral. Uh, I'll just point to it like this, radial, and down here in the middle is median, then we've got ulnar on the medial side of the forearm, okay? So axillary, musculocutaneous, we've got radial, median, ulnar, and then just remember this, it goes in order, C5, C6, lateral, C5, C7, medial, moving down here, everything goes until T1. So you've got C5, T1, C6, T1, C7, T1, okay? In case you didn't get that, let's do that one more time. We've got C5, C6, axillary, C5, C7, musculocutaneous, and in the forearm, we've got C5, T1, radial, C6, T1, median, C7, T1, ulnar.